Welcome everybody to Pipe Bomb Sports Show this Wednesday, December 3rd. It's me, Francesco. Nelly. Jimmy Dugan. And, uh, yeah, so I just want to let you guys know something before we start the show. That today is a season of giving this month. The holidays are around the corner. I'm a good guy. We're all good guys. Love our sports and we love our fans. St. Nopholus. St. Nopholus, I might call it. St. Nopholus. And uh, it's true, actually. Sometimes I dress up as Santa Claus and hand out gifts to random people. But to the random people I want to hand out this gift to is our fans. If they call in today and answer this trivia question correctly, which I will announce the trivia question after our first break, they win a authentic Tampa Bay Lightning Steven Stamkos home jersey. Stevie? Stevie, Stevie. <laughs> so that's uh, a pretty nice little uh, authentic NHL jersey to be given away, and uh, you know, very cool of you, friend. Thank you, and uh, yeah, it's an interesting hockey, hockey talk coming up later. That's gonna be fun for us to debate. Yeah, you know, uh, there's other clothing apparels being worn tonight, especially Foz over there. Nice hat, Foz. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, well. Well, Foz, well, on the Fox, well, Fox, Fox. Fox is speechless over there with no, with no <laughs> mic since, you know, talking about his uh, Thanksgiving bet with the uh, birds. Am, am I back? Am you're I back. Better? You're back. You go. You go. This is what you get for betting the Cowboys. You see this? <laughs> this is this is what you get. An Indianapolis Colts fan wearing the bloody Patriots hat. They should rot in hell, and I'm glad they lost on Sunday. <laughs> well, Foz, you, you kicked it with us when the Colts played the Giants, so yeah. it was payback time. Yeah, you but, know? but at least let me lose to my own, like, <laughs> yeah. my own. <laughs> I was betting on somebody yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a team that, oh my God, it's this. It pained me that I had to pay for this. <laughs> this I, I might donate this to charity. We're gonna sign this. And this exactly. Will never be worn At again, least you ever. didn't have to it goes buy the Raiders apparel. <laughs> hey, listen, how'd you feel? They lost fifty-two nothing this week. Yeah. <laughs> Where was that Thursday? <laughs> Where was that Thursday? Are you kidding me? They got hammered after that first win. Have you hammered. ever? I went nuts. Trey Mason looked like yeah. he was an all-star on, on Sunday. It was phenomenal. It was like Auburn days. It was, it was his great. I'll be mean, honest with you. These Raiders have screwed me so much right now that I have Frank Gore on my fantasy team, and I'm really thinking, I can't start this guy against him because <laughs> they're going to screw me. <laughs> That's why. Yeah, it is why. That's, That's why. why. Playoffs. 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 The Raiders cost yes. me a – oh, I hate them. I hate I you. Can't. I hate you all. Well, let, let's, let's get the elephant out of the room. Guys, we all have to apologize to our fans because we all picked the Patriots. Oh, did I hold on? Did I not say it? <laughs> I said we all picked the Patriots. Take, Take the, the Packers, Packers to the bank. <laughs> I am now two for two. I really did. That we all chose the team, and the other team won. It's like the NFL Sunday morning jinx. <laughs> Everyone picks the same team, jump on the other side. Yeah, besides, like, Susie Colbert, and she'll pick the other (laughs) team, and that's it. Like, the girl will get it right. But, I mean, what a fix job, too. Mug, what'd you think with the Goskowski field goal? (laughs) This guy's the best field goal. He doesn't miss. He never misses field goals. Inside 50. He went like this with the win. He looked to the (laughs) sideline to the refs. What do I have to do here? Miss? Or hit it. He almost hit. We knew. He almost hit the right pylon. Of what the spread was going to be. Either yeah. one by two or five. That was really bad. Yes. Oh, but the thing with uh, you watch these games sometimes, and you just sit there and you're like, they got this, it. Yeah, this can't happen, right? They got it. <laughs> and then they got it's like, it. Oh my God, can't this happen again? It's, yeah. it's like, when, when, when can so what can a fan just sit there and say, learn. Let it be? Yeah. But guys, we, me let and I were talking about something let the other day. Be. Just to give you a little thought into the brain of Bill Belichick. Do you think he held back at all during this game? And the reason I say it is this. The first game all season long, the New England Patriots did not run a hurry-up offense, did not blitz. Very weird. Very strange. Very strange. And I thought I thought the same thing when I told you when they played Indianapolis. They ran the ball. Yeah. And, and I think they're gonna st- I think he's playing a chess match with Peyton Manning in Denver. Yeah. Cause Peyton's gonna look at that game field, he's gonna try to run the ball on in Indy, and it's gonna cause trouble because they might see each other in the playoffs. But I think so. I think he is. I think he is. I think he guessed the Packers heads up. I, I really Dukes, what do you feel? I, I wouldn't put it past him. I really wouldn't. <laughs> he's just he's the way such his a mind's, genius. Yeah. Him, I just to not show your hand because you may see them exactly. down the road later. Don't show your hand. Is just We're it's genius. It really is genius. But if he, if it's true. Way. But what is that saying to the AFC that he is he really that confident? Like this is definitely the best Patriots team he's had. In the last ten years, yes. 
Does he truly feel that he has such an advantage yes. over the rest of the AFC yes. that he can do this? I mean, yes. yeah. definitely. But I don't listen. Think, uh, it, I don't think he can. But here's my I, I, I personally, I, I think yes, it's the best team he's had in a long time, and he's got two phenomenal corners that could take out any wide receiver out of the game. Yeah. But look at their playoff record over the past five years. They're atrocious. Mm. They're really bad in the playoffs. Like it's not the Brady of old. Mm. So like I don't know if this is something if I, he if he's playing the right cards, he may be overthinking himself even for the mad scientist. Well he just got I think the New England ran into a lot of bad breaks. So I mean, they caught a Raven team that was hot. They caught a Denver team last year in Denver. A Raven team two years ago. I take that back. But you know, you guys are talking I'm, I'm thinking you think the Packers friend are built sort of like the Patriots, like if you go defensive end, Julius Peppers, or Chung, Ha Ha Clint Dix, you got your pass rushers, or not at all. This, n- I think both I, teams express their own unique style, and there's something when you watch the Packers that I don't see when I watch Offensively, the, their yeah. play calling is, is... I love to watch... I can watch a Packers offense. I think he's yeah. the best I, play caller in... Uh, no McCarthy. offense to Chip Kelly. No, I think no, no. He's great, but I do think... Mike McCarthy's a step I've up. I've seen Chip Kelly cost us two call. games with play no, call this No, he's year. good, but, but he's good. Offensive play call, Mike McCarthy's. I just feel like the Packers remind me a lot of the old Peyton Colts. Yeah. Shaky defense, but it's overshadowed because their offense is so... Their offense is so complete. So complete, and it, it puts so many points on the board that it gives the defense a little bit of leeway. Like, they always know we're going to either be playing with the lead or if we're slightly behind, our offense is going to bail us out. Yeah, well said. Well said. With Belichick, as far as not tipping his hand to, to the rest of the league and Green Bay, he's basically saying we're going to have home field no matter what either way in the AFC. Well, it's and not, if it's we make it to grips. the Super Bowl, he thinks the Packers are probably the most viable opponent yeah. that could make it there. He's yeah, not going to tip his hand. I think their offense is complete. Edelman. Uh, Look at LeGarrette Blunt. Look, Look how he looked. Fell. Listen, LeGarrette Blunt is great. back in New England. The key, obviously, the guy we great. Know what the yeah. key is. It's Gronk. A healthy Gronk count. Yeah, it is. It's always going to be It's key. a healthy Gronk. So if he's healthy, the, he pieces together the running game. You know, he, Joe he does. Gray rushes for, what, over 100-something yards, yeah, and then he doesn't play. And he has not had one snap. He hasn't even had one, one snap. No, he played. He, he got one snap. snap. He got one snap last week, yes. For three three yards. Because he's a long clock. That's a sick man. He's getting a long clock. Yeah, you know what's funny? And it's a little hypocritical, though. Week three. Darrell Revis missed the same missed the meeting for the exact same thing. Well, yeah, Darrell Revis is expendable. still playing. Yeah, he's not you know as expendable as Jonas Gray. Right? It, it, it just goes to show you that you know this is still you know what have you done for me? Like, he had to bench him on a week. The they had another Fred just signed another. Jessica, one. let's get you involved. I need to talk to you about your Eagles. How do you feel after being the Cowboys in Dallas, hey, and Jim. now you got Seattle, and you got Dallas at the Seattle? What, what's your feels? What's your emotions? What do you take after oh. that nice Thanksgiving <clears> win on the road? Because you looked very dominant on both sides. Of the ball, Mark Sanchez played great. You're fun now. It, so it, fun. It, you shut down Des Bryant. I didn't even see Des. Me either. No. <laughs> Let me tell you guys something about my birds, Gypsy. I don't know if we saw that fly Eagles fly, but I would like it played in the, the rest of the football segment. <laughs> Let me tell you guys something about these birds. We get home field. I'll see you guys in the Super Bowl. Uh, if we get home field, <laughs> Dallas smoked by us. They didn't do a thing on the offensive side of that football. Tony Romo looked like the Tony Romo we thought we were seeing this month Mm -hmm. a week early. Not to mention, if we keep playing, Mark Sanchez managed the game. Mm. That's all you got to do. We said Mark Sanchez has to come in there and make the playoffs. I'll tell you right now. He's looked better than Nick Foles did this season. Right. Better than Nick Foles. He might really they be better really than Nick Foles. You can't say he managed the game. He went down their throats the first two possessions. Well, I, I like he went right down the field. I feel like the first couple of drives they did ease him yeah. along into the game, and mm. they the yards after the catch. Every Unbelievable. Play. I think. Anyway. I think. And oh. kudos to you, Nell. I think what you had said the Sunday was the Sunday night game finally caught up to them. Yeah. Because you you're talking about yeah. two consecutive games where an offense ran seventy plus plays Nell, you did at say the that. Cowboys. Yeah. And I mean, their defense just they they were gasping for oxygen after the first series. These these guys, the Eagles are running down the field eighty yards in three minutes. Like it's it's insane. Yeah. Just, it's it's exhausting. They're, they're, it's exhausting. They would not let them make subs. It's yeah. just it's, it Why do you think Chip right. Kelly has his team on a nutrition diet, bro? It, it's Williams. quick. It's fast. If you ever insult Coach Chip again about his <laughs> regimen, we have real problems because it's working. And you get this, all and that's why Fred's saying nutrition diet, nutritional diet, and they're like yeah, smoothies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. These guys, are just there's like, like science. Like, like, like the clubhouse. 
but you know what? They're healthy. Healthy yeah. in the locker room. Sorry. Yeah. Even the That's why lineman, you're saying right? if they get a bye, you're going to the Super Bowl. Oh, Super Bowl. A fresh Eagle team at home. They're a fast. They're a fast. At the being a wild card very game, impressed. guys. Yeah, I'm telling really you now. I was very impressed. Darren with Sproles that. is a difference maker. No, he really yeah. is. He, he <laughs> really, really is. He is. Exactly. As Drew Brees. As Drew Brees. He is. What he feels about Darren Sproles. He forces the opposition to have to think about him. Exactly. Listen to my music. Just game playing against him is enough. Can I get this up for Christmas? I want this. I want this play at my Christmas dinner. Thank you, Mom. Listen. You know I was texting during the whole game, friend. The closet eagleness came out of me. I know. Listen, everybody's got a little eagle in all of them. No. Yeah, no. you do. No, no, no. And I'll tell you why. No, no, no. Even because Dugan. Your team no. is boring as hell. Close. Your team is. Eh. You're the same team as him. And you're your lucky. team. You're lucky we don't we, play. We have a team. Yet. You're lucky we don't play you this year. That's all I'm saying. Uh, uh, Andrew Luck would light you we up. We beat you. When? Week two. Yeah. Whatever. Merry Christmas. <laughs> that was your Merry Christmas. Yeah. Who's next? Yeah. 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 Who's next? Yeah. You missed you. I want that shirt. Man, you don't want any part That's of my right. team. I forgot you about know that. what happens when we play you guys. We have a loss in seven years against you guys. I don't know what the you, Weren't you saying uh, somebody was real impotent on offense? Like they weren't a good team anymore. Like they were falling apart. Like you picked against them Thursday night. Well, everyone was full and ready to take their nap. Oh, Seattle. There was still a division football Seattle, game going on. The same team we're going to beat this Sunday in Philadelphia. Oh, not, thank you for bringing that up. Because Seattle is going to win this week. Thank is you, Mom. Seattle, Mom Seattle will win this football game. I have turned you. against you, Fred. Seattle this one. too. Absolutely. I don't like swag. They got it. Swag. Back. Swag, it Monk. so bad. Swag, Monk. They are ready to go. You are looking to next week. Next week Absolutely. matters. Absolutely. And it's good. Guys, I think this so. week matters. Dukes, oh, I think you're looking towards the Cowboys. You're looking to the Cowboys. You beat you the Cowboys, beat you're them set. Next week, you're set. You don't want a war with Seattle this I week. Want, you don't want a war. You, you don't want to lose players. I, Get out alive. I'll tell you what. What's a Seahawk? What's Seattle a Seahawk? smells <laughs> the division. They smell it. Yeah, Arizona's Arizona Arizona. is close. Arizona is going to come out of this. Seattle will win that division. They are. I didn't because of Carson Palmer's injury. Yep. You're yeah, right. absolutely. Uh, maybe so. Well, yeah, I don't know. I mean, their defense didn't look too good. You no, know, Patrick no, Peterson I, I got absolutely can't no, used, by used, used by Julio Jones. Drew Stanton used by Julio Jones. That was wild. wild. Drew Stanton is wild. That guy's a top home. five cornerback in the league, if yeah. not top, top three. three. Yeah. And he, Julio made him look like a child. Yeah. Uh, well, when he has the right parenting and the right mentoring from me, it's, it's, it means a lot. <laughs> All he needed was to get traded to Narf's team. Who, That's it. Oh, no. Who yeah. figures? Tell everybody every yeah. time. I'll see you in thing, dude. Yeah. So, Shady. shady. So, <laughs> so here's where, here's my thing with this Sunday game. Listen, uh, let's be real. I'll be realistic. I, mean, I talk a lot with my heart on the show. I do. And I think that's what makes sports fans so special is a lot of the time our heart does get in the way. Yeah. And sports are passionate. Yeah. And, and for me, I know the Seahawks are going to be a grind the whole game. And they're going to come at Mark Sanchez harder than he's yep. seen all season so far yep. from our recent opponents. But I, I, I personally do believe it's no more than a three-point game. I, I think Mark Sanchez yeah. comes out there, Why not? manages the game. Yeah. I'm not really afraid of a single weapon offensively that they have. It's minus one. Exactly. Philly's giving him one point. So, I, obviously, what does that, that tell you? I just so think pick Seattle's exactly. defense matches up very well with and Philly's offense with their corners. Sherman is going to take exactly. Macklin completely but out of the game. You? The big difference oh, is yeah, going to be fine. Seattle's linebackers. Right, Can remember. they penetrate that line? Can they get that pressure up the middle? That's where Sanchez struggles the most. AKA butt fumble. It's up the middle. <laughs> you know, he, just butt fumble, remember that. Butt fumble. It's a thing of the past. Butt, butt fumble. fumble. <laughs> butt fumble. Butt fumble. He's gonna send the house. The thing is, butt fumble given. With, with uh, Seattle, Thanksgiving was the anniversary. Able to score, I think. I, the Eagles did such a good job against Tony Romo. Exactly. But I, you don't know what defense is gonna show up. I think Seattle. I think they established the run. Friend, that's I, what worries me. If the Skittles get going. Yeah. I'm with Foz. I think Mac that, gets shut that down. That sets up the yeah. play action, and that does, doesn't necessarily set up the deep ball. It sets up Russell Wilson with man coverage running 25 yards every yeah. other play. The that's likes. what it is with that offense. See, the offense is not so great, but he just he's very good with mm -hmm. the ball in his hand. He's trustworthy he with the ball in his hand. Mark Sanchez, is, he's, he's a product of a great system right now. Yes. Get the ball off quick. Don't hold the ball long. Because you see when he holds the ball long, what happened? He had fumbled that play. Yeah. He had fumbled that first play. I'm with you, Monk. I, I, Seattle's, it's going to be a grind. It's going to be a grind. grind. It's a grind I game. I think yeah. 
Fonz on, on the money. Macklin's going to get taken out with Sherman. It yep. comes down to a Zach Ertz, Riley Cooper game. Yep. You're going to need these well, guys. Don't forget Jordan, Jordan Matthews. Zach Ertz. Jordan, don't don't I like Jordan Matthews. Yeah. That's right. Your face. Don't forget, don't forget Jordan, Jordan Matthews. Jordan! Yeah, Jordan Matthews. Jordan. Yeah, Jordan Matthews. Jordan. Yeah, Jordan. But I think the scene oh, routes, as we talk about, the tight ends are open. Yeah. Like, Brennan Davis even showed a little life the other day. See, we, we, we were talking about it. Two, two catches. <laughs> yeah. guys, At least show you the life. He made it to 23, guys. He made. He showed life. He made it to 23 catches. But I'm with Mark. Career I, high. I just think they need this game so they bad. Do. They do. So this bad. This is a game like you, you don't want to be a part of. Looking. So Sp- special teams, beast. Carol and Kelly, beast. They're not going to work off each other this game. It's just not going to happen. It's, either, it's not going to happen. Seattle stopped the Darren Sproles, Sean McCoy threat. Because that's yeah. another threat. And Jordan, Jordan Matthews up the slot. I, it's a threat. I'll tell you it's what, number one, number two Eagles special teams. Run, number one and two. They're in a lot of trouble. Seahawks are in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Right. If the, if the Eagles are running the ball efficiently, they're in a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A and lot guys, of trouble. The offensive line has been healthy the past, what, three weeks? Yes. Fran, the Eagles the run the ball like they should. They'll win the Super Bowl. How's that? Yeah. How's that as far as controlling a game? Thank you, Gypsy. I was about to ask. Seriously. Dugan. Dugan, I was about to ask. Dugan, what is the analysis here, Dukes? What do you like? I, I, I agree with you. I like the Seahawks, too. I think the Eagles are looking towards yeah. next week. but Four on one. Four. For the, for the, the Eagles have a great pass rush, but Russell Wilson can use his legs to get out of that, and he can throw the ball downfield. Marshawn Lynch is huge. He's playing very well right now. Great right now. I, well, I, I think Marshawn Lynch has a really big game. I think yeah. they and I, I don't trust Mark Sanchez yet. I really oh, don't. High score game or low yet. score game, Fox? I know he, yo, he's uh, doing gonna it. I'm like a 27-24, 27 He's doing it, but somewhere in that mid range, yet. not too crazy. I'm with um, you. Yeah, I just, I, I just, I think it's going to be a hard fought game. I just think, honestly, I think all the scoring is going to come in the first half. I think okay. you're going to have, you're going to yeah. have a lot of scoring in the first half. The second half, you're going to really, they're going to, these two coaches, these two wizards are going to go into the. It's exciting to see you know, Pete Carroll versus you know, uh, it Chip is. Kelly. It's going to be great. Definitely is. I love Pete definitely Carroll. Is. He's one of my favorite coaches. They know each other. It's just great football mind. Two, yeah, absolutely. They but know it's a great, great game. But you, you, when you bring that up, like how deja vu it was in the college days when it was Harbaugh versus Carroll. Yeah. Harbaugh would beat Carroll like Stanford and USC, and that yeah. was the main thing. And now in NFL. Cow would be tall buck. It's yeah. like Jesus Christ. So it's a, a total game. role reversal. It's a different game. Total Har- Harbaugh's got Harbaugh a lot of eyes on him right now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I a lot, lot of eyes though. on Harbaugh. They're saying Jets are looking at okay. him big time. Which is Let's perfect for the rebuild. Spitfire. Spitfire real quick. If you're Jim uh, Harbaugh, Jim or John? Jim. 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 I, sorry, the yeah. brother. If you're leaving San Francisco, what job that's available next year that you would like to see him go to? Jets. Jets for you, Foz? If the Jets rebuild from the ground up. I would like. I would like to see him go to Michigan. I think that'd be a great job. I am with you Michigan. on that. I think Michigan. I, I just that pulled that. Yeah, I'm never going to see him again. Here's the thing. Ah, I don't, yeah, you I don't would. Think I'm not watching. A guy like him. See him on ABC as Saturday. much as he has in college. <laughs> he's going to go back to college. <laughs> I think. I think he needs That's to accomplish true. something first ABC. in the NFL before he get. He hasn't really accomplished yeah. anything. Oh, it's not tough in the NFL. To see. Not in the NFL. No. Okay. He's been doing good with the Niners. He's getting to championship games. Absolutely. Should be. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. After yeah. Rex's last year. Not, not really this should have been Rex Ryan's. Hold on. <laughs> he should have got second. He should have got fired yeah. on the field. Listen, <laughs> he, he openly <laughs> came out the other day and apologized. <laughs> he he tried to force his way on that game Monday night, yeah. and it almost worked. What? But he was like, listen, I move. he it was a very selfish move. Was it was it was him trying to say, if you would have did it my way, we would have been better. And he's he, right though. He was trying to throw Geno. Geno Smith under the bus, essentially. Like saying you know, this wasn't even my guy. Yeah, this is not my guy. And he still, to this day, will not admit if Geno Smith gives them a chance to win. I always backed Rex. I always liked what he said. But what he did on Monday night was atrocious. You got a, you got a young quarterback. Now, see what he could do. Give him the keys to the car. But the best you have nothing to play for. You're not going to the playoffs. I agree. Put him in the shotgun. Run some West Virginia plays that he used to run and see if he can complete. You have Percy Harvin and Decker. You can't complete balls? you Because uh, they had not haven't completed balls when he was in Denver or Seattle? That was a joke. We're doing. I said I. I wrote it on uh, Facebook. I go. I didn't know Navy was playing at MetLife tonight. They ran the ball nonstop. Mm-hmm. It was a joke. Well, uh, I dudes, agree. What'd you no, take? I, for embarrassing and for people to pay tickets to go see that game. Well, they didn't, say, they didn't uh, have to pay much. Smith, they're yeah. still looking to see if he's a quarterback of the future. But you let him only throw the ball what eight times. Yeah. What ball? <laughs> you can't do. The- you have to. Test everything out. Let him drop back. Let him start from the shotgun. Let him throw these quick slants. See if he actually can play quarterback. You know, they, they, they interviewed Chris Johnson after the game, and they were like, was this the game plan going in? He goes, we plan to run. He goes, I didn't know this was going to be the game plan. So, like, he even caught his players off guard. But then what I found was crazy was you have the audacity to basically run, run, run. And now the game 
You have a chance to win the game at the end. All right, kid, you haven't thrown a ball all game. Go 80 yards and score us a touchdown. Yeah. Come on. The kids never going to happen. The kids are going to kill the clock all year. Get out of there. It's yeah. never going to happen. I'm going to be exactly the one to say positive. this right it's now. never going to happen. I'm going to be the one to say this right now. What? Are none of us sick of talking about the Jets? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But we got to talk about it because that was embarrassing what you did. <laughs> <on> <laughs> <there>. <laughs> As a coach, that was embarrassing. Like the uh, Giants, they had an embarrassing loss Sunday. That should never go on the blame of Tom Coughlin. They were Tom Coughlin us. didn't fumble the I ball. Really so. Tom Coughlin didn't let Larry Donnell fumble. That was no way Coughlin's fault. No, that I was really, Eli's fault. I wish we could get the clip from Tom Coughlin's postgame speech. Uh, the fact that he said we would have had it. a better shot kneeling the ball the entire second half He's right. and winning the game no, we would have says so, so much about what that team is right now. So, so much. You know, it, it's so, so sad. So sad. And that this guy... His neck is on the line, essentially. No, to me, I think he's a dead duck. Done. He, he's oh, he's yeah, done. He's done. Yeah, he's There's done. no way it's he can survive this, and he can't. But, but someone someone has to take the sh- the fall. Yeah, I know. And it's not going to be two time know. winning quarterback. <laughs> yeah, but you know that. what? He's going out to me in my eyes. Do get no, up. Let's go. Phenomenal. I he's have, great. I don't. Some I don't even some think. Some other team is going to Some other team is going to find gold in this guy. What if Tom goes to the Jets? I don't think he's done. You know what? I would love to see Tom go to a smaller market team. You know, back to the reminiscence of the days with Jacksonville, where he built up that team to a powerhouse. You know, uh, Mark Brunel and, you know, those old school guys. But, you know, what's old, bro? I think it's. Oakland? No. Go away. Hold on. How how about Tom Coughlin lands in Minnesota? Fred Jackson? No. Zimmer's there. First year. He's doing good there. Yeah. Uh, It's a first year job. No, he's, Ray he's Rice fundamentals. Is, Ray Rice a giant? You don't see Minnesota no. take a Ray Rice and Indianapolis Colt. He, he would never be a giant. Speaking of He'll a be a Colt. Giants are too, we have to get the best player, the smartest player, yeah, this and this. Yeah. They'll I never, actually saw ever, someone tweet this even out. Even if Ray Thanks, Rice was Jerry. free, we wouldn't sign him. I'm dead serious. That's, I saw someone put out a great tweet on Ray Rice. They said he should go to the Jets because they don't beat anybody. <laughs> 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 No pun intended, bro. No pun intended. No pun intended. We can laugh about this now. He won his appeal. We can laugh about this, friend. You're right. I don't know how to get in. Too right. soon? Too soon? No. 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 <laughs> Never too soon on this show. But, so, friend, you're telling me Coughlin is to blame for that loss? Of course he's to blame. He didn't fumble he's the ball on the five? Like, ever shot down the, the ball? Dugan, Listen. Dugan, are you blaming Coughlin? I don't blame Coughlin. I uh, legitimately, you blame our O line and and Eli, honestly, you, Eli, you can't fumble that ball. Danelle, like you said, can't fumble that ball. Hon- Rashard Jennings, what are you doing in the end zone? Obviously, the ball was fumbled. Oh, that was ridiculous. The ball was fumbled in the end zone, and that's fine. You're there to cover it up, and you. The main thing is cover it up. Don't anything. let the touchdown kick a safety. Your defense is playing awesome. It's so, twenty-one to three. What are you doing? Are you the Giants now? I'm asking the two Giant fans. Just tank the season. Who's the yes? Absolutely. The only good that came out of that game season. is we got a loss and we're that yeah. much step yeah. closer. Definitely. Who's worse? The Jets. Because this is honestly Jets not. Are worse. The Jets Giants are worse. Are worse. Giants no. are worse. Giants we were, are worse. We should have been. We were projected to be so much better and we're no, no, not no, even no, no, close. You didn't, you didn't say who's more disappointed. Hold on. You said who's worse. I think, Giants. The, worse. I think the Giants are worse, and we're going to get into this later because we're going to discuss something. Giants still have uh, yes. coming to like you know as far as like teams and whatnot, and we'll justify why we're saying the Giants. Are definitely a worse, are worse off in the position that they are currently in right now. The players don't want to be there. No. Uh, JPP no, literally said this team has no heart. No. He said that on air. You could see. Oh no, it, Beckham already s- has his catch, his, mm-hmm. catch on his gloves. Give yeah. me a break. Yeah. You're a joke. You're a joke. Really? You're a joke. Yeah. You're a joke. It says legendary. I go be different from Victor Cruz, and you're almost worse than Victor Cruz. At least Victor Cruz gave you a Super Bowl ring before you. you know, and he people, started his Ricky Vaughn. You know what people are trying to justify it, saying, "Oh, you think that was his idea?" Absolutely. It's I'm one sure that was his idea. And he done. went to Nike, and Nike was like, done. "Okay, great. Look at it." Let's not even talk New York football anymore. It's one catch. Let's just not do it. Get over it. Let's talk about the big game Thursday. Because the Cowboys have to win. I'm done talking Jets Giants on air, by the way. I'm, I'm going to go mute from now on. I'm done. <laughs> you know how like, teams have media <laughs> silence? I'm having pipe bomb right. silence. Me like this. Next week, we get a coffee when they talk about Deal. I don't want to talk about these two teams. Pick me up. You're not good. <laughs> you shouldn't be spoken about. We'll you shouldn't talk- even be televised in New York. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about them in the draft. Okay. Joke. That's, that's exactly right. And don't Love don't get. don't get home too late because you might miss both of their picks. <laughs> okay, oh, so right. he's right. I hope we have time. Yeah, picks. don't don't get home too late. I love draft night on the show. I love. I want to talk about this cowboy draft night. Great. Game. The cutlet. Now the cutlet. Oh God. <laughs> Let's talk about if someone I we should stop talking about. From the cutlet, it's. 
Thursday. I, I, I think. Please, in Soldier Field, win a home game against the Cowboys. That's my one Wait, request. You want to know what's funny about Kala? Don't do this to me. He has no, no. He has three hundred more passing yards for the season than Romo. It does. And he's got twenty-four touchdowns, fourteen picks, and Romo has twenty-two touchdowns and eight picks. So it doesn't look too, too far off. The thing is, the, the quarterback wins. rating and the wins. Right. And but now here's my the thing. The wins is the most important. Can we, Absolutely. Can we agree the Cowboys' defense has been above par this year compared to what the Bears have had to go through on defense? They've been what they are. I think they're all right. They're I think they're a solid defense. team. I think they're, 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 they're right feeling the loss they're of DeMarcus Ware. Yes. I definitely Cowboys think DeMarcus Ware on this Cowboys. team this year Cowboys. would be a completely no, different man, team. Man. You know, but I just. I'm with you, Yeah. Mm-hmm. So who do you like to win this game? And then we'll talk I, about I think I think Dallas big. I think this is Dallas big. Dugan? I'm gonna agree with you, Norv. I like the points with the Bears. Forget about Forget the, the points. points. Is it Forget about the points. It's three and a half. I think the Forget Bears can the win points. the game. Forget I the think points. the Bears can win the game. No, you look at the points. I want to know who wins. The Bear, the game. I think the Bears can win the game. You know what? I was really hoping you said Cowboys because because of our record on the no. show, I was gonna pick the Cowboys. <laughs> but I'm going with the Bears. Too, I, I like the Bears. You're an Eagle fan. Damn right now, I can't put my heart aside <laughs> and you're right Jay now. Jay Cutler lover. I love you, Jay. I, you want to make another title bet? I don't know what it is. I really you want to make another The Cowboys have not been playing good as of late. I'm trying to sucker. Three guys. losses out of five. No more. The only teams they beat were the Giants and the Jags. Romo isn't playing good. The, when on. you look at the Bears defense, you're, they're bad. We know that we know they're bad. Romo's banged up. Their rush defense isn't. That bad. They're actually one of the better rush defense teams in the league, and yeah. the Cowboys are. are a running team. And if they could stop the run, which they can, the Bears' offense has to show up sooner or later. And the Cowboys really aren't that great on defense. I think the Bears can get it done in Soldier Field. You remember what you said last week? Actually, went home game. Sure. There was a matchup pause. between Cutlet and Stanford. Yeah. Stafford. Cutlet okay. and Dugan's Lions. Okay. <laughs> and you said. The Bears, you know, you were like, Stafford has been playing like absolute dog crap, and you didn't give him a shot in the world, and here comes Stafford and lights up. I picked the, the Lions. No, well, I picked the Lions. But you, oh, I'm sorry, you picked the Lions, no, but I you said the Lions. I, I, whatever. But you said Stafford was playing, playing very terrible. bad, yeah. You're God, there's a lot of big games this he week. He knew it. There's a lot of big games. He has big Thanksgiving just, games. But I just, so think, I just think that the Bears' defense is going against a better offense right now. I think Dallas uh, realistically is right now. the underdog of the Bears, the society the reason, with the yeah. Cowboys. There's another big game. We, re- I'm telling you, there's too many. Games. We're gonna have to go through there's a this. A lot of good games. Indy versus Cleveland. I'm no? with the Cowboys. I'm not even with interested the boys. in that game. You're gonna kill them. I'm with the boys. Uh, Thank God, Johnny Football. Nelly, I gotta hit you close to home on this. Hit one. me home. Can we do a round robin? Just pick for this one. Yep. Yeah. Pittsburgh, Cincinnati. Oh, you can't ask me. I'm a homer. In Pitt, I like Pitt too. Um, yeah, I had to lose at home to New Orleans. I gotta like the most to bounce back. And uh, I, I like Ben and uh, Le'Veon Bell. I, I still believe they're one draft class away from being a, super, a top-notch, top-three team in the NFL. I just think their defense is a little old, and it takes a couple of years. I'm with Pitt. Pitt. I'm with Pitt. Taking Pitt. Pitt. Cincinnati showed me nothing last week against. That's how I feel. Yeah. I feel like I didn't see them do anything. I know productive. Pitt lost to the Saints, but. Monk? You go with the gingerbread. <laughs> no, I'm not going with it. I'm done with it. He goes, oh. I'm done with Andy Dalton. <laughs> I'm done with Andy Dalton. Yeah, me too. It's Cincinnati, you saved you saved the Steelers. I I just think that the, <laughs> right now, all kidding aside, I I think the the Bengals smell blood, they and they could put a stranglehold on this division right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Oh, definitely. Win, win definitely. this game, and and yeah, that's it. You're gonna win the division. You're right. You, you're gonna yeah, win, you the win the division. Win the division. You slip up with the Ravens. Exactly. Yeah, the Chargers, you right? win. You know that. Speaking that, of that the Ravens, us. that hurt us a little bit. Speaking Come of Baltimore, on. that hurt us a little bit. Baltimore, Miami, in Miami. I like yeah. Miami. That's you just, good, that's you just won't matchup. ever pick Baltimore. I like Baltimore. That's not true. I, I, like like Baltimore. I, like I like the Ravens. I like the Ravens. Ravens all the way. So you the saved the Ravens. They're the, they're the underdog. <laughs> <laughs> you saved the Ravens. They're an a and eight. You know, I'm actually this Sunday night game is very intriguing. Yeah. Very, very, very. Intriguing. Let's skip the Monday game because that we don't have to talk about. No, that. We don't have to talk about that. that. In Lambeau, we really don't have to talk guys, about that. Guys, listen. <laughs> as good as New England is, I was talking about home field in the AFC. They lose this game. They tied with San Diego. Wow. Same record. Yeah. So who's getting the whole field in the AFC? San Diego is impressive. Unbelievable. After this I, week. Yeah, after this last week. week in Baltimore, what down the drive. whole game, the whole that game-winning drive. Philip Rivers, you've proven a lot to me. You, I, I'm a fan of Philip Rivers. If yep. they lose I'm this week, his juice, man. if New England me loses too, this Mark. week, you, you could potentially be looking at a five-team tie with I mean, the I'm same record. Going for the buys. A five-team right, a five-team tie. Mm-hmm. It's going to be New England, San Diego, uh, Denver, Indianapolis. 
<laughs> and I believe Cincinnati. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A five-team tie for the number one seed. It's, it's three and a half. Who do you got? Let's go oh, round robin man. real quick. Oh, boy. I'll, I'll, I'll lay it off. I got Sir Tom. I'm taking and Tom. Bill Bell I'm sorry. That's it. Belichick off a loss. Needs to win this game. The, game is. the Chargers offense just simply does not impress me at all. And the Pages defense is actually very, very good this year. So I'm taking the pass. They could lose two in a row. I still I got to go to Super Bowl. I don't Patriots, care. I'm taking Tom. I think the X factor is the Patriots defense this game. No, you're wrong. The X factor is the powder blue jerseys that the San Diego Chargers are going to be winning, and that's why I'm taking the San Diego Chargers. <laughs> that the is an blues. amazing stat. Okay. <laughs> the powder blues that, are that serious. Is amazing stat. <laughs> There's that is why the powder blues oh. are serious. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that is why <laughs> I. I it's very sad that I'm. I would think I'm about that. changing my pick because the powder blues. That is Honestly, why they always win in the powder blues. So yeah. you just sw- no, you I'm not. I'm not switching. I'm not switching. But I'm nervous. But now I'm nervous. Now I'm nervous. That Damn team the gets up for the powder blues. I don't know. Fives. I think they should make that that year, their jersey. Okay. Damn, that's a secret weapon. Fives. That's a secret weapon. I gotta ask again. I'm telling you, there's games that we gotta yeah. just, just pick right now. Kansas City, Arizona, in Arizona. Yeah. Both City. teams have to win. A boring. Wow, Kansas game. City. I think it shouldn't even be. It is right. Chiefs. Yeah, it's I think I think it's Chiefs. I think Chiefs too. I Embarrassment after Peyton Manning. I, I'm not even that. I just I just. Don't I think Arizona's finally coming back down to yeah. back down to earth? Everyone's really and now especially the loss of Andre Ellington is oh. going to be huge. Yeah, I like the you know now they, now they literally have no weapons Here's the in their backfield. It's a shame to How long is he out for? Us? Ellington, I didn't even know. right, Mark? They're, 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 they're they got a contusion. Really they said that stand. he's doubtful it's for this week. Sin. So but they don't know. They, loss, they, but still, Wait regardless, Ellington is a big loss. That's right. a, your That's number a one sin. back. Yeah, it's a sin. We got to so, talk about I mean, Foz's team. I was just getting there. Colts, Browns, and Browns. Wait, hold on. Everybody picked the Chiefs. Well, we'll, right, I'm say we leave Foz left. Chiefs. We leave yeah. you yeah. left. Chiefs. Chiefs. I'm going to wait to see what everyone picks. Uh, Colts, Browns. Oh, Chiefs. Chiefs. Uh, Chiefs. Chiefs. This is easy. Chiefs, absolutely. Browns, Colts. Cardinals are winning. Colts minus four on the road in the dog pound. We'll go for Lee Foz for last. Colts are crazy, but is Johnny football playing? No, he's not. It's Hoyer. did the right thing today. Hoyer is playing. I'm going Indianapolis. I like to see Johnny football. Play, I like man. the Browns. Uh, I like the Colts in a close game. Colts win by three. I like Browns Colts to Colts cover. Win. Colts Hoya win the game. Good. I like the Colts in a blowout. All right, so now hold on. So everyone's picking the Colts to win. Yeah. But you picked the. So I'm just gonna say the Browns are gonna win just so that the Colts can win. <laughs> so okay, I'm gonna just save my team. So I'm gonna say the Browns. For for safety reasons, just for safety reasons. You know, sometimes on this show, I understand. I get you it. Just, now. You just know, you have to get like that. You got like, you got, you got to get. Um, you got to pick with your. You got to pick with your heart. You, you have to protect. It's like it's like you know, it's, like, you know, it's like you know the, the field goal kicker. Yeah, he hasn't yeah, missed yeah. in sixty five years. Bang. Yeah. Shanks left. Yeah. 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 You know. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Hits the right pile on. Of course. On. Where we? You know what? This is probably the best week of the. In my opinion, the best week of the NFL going on right now in all season. We might see this. This is going to be the best week the rest of the season, I think. I, I expect injuries at this week, big time. Big one. You right, so told me Cutler. You told me Cutler on yeah, Thursday. Yeah, Cutler's going down. So, now I got a question for you. We're not going to discuss the Monday night game because no. even though I think it will be entertaining and I think it will be high scoring, mm-hmm. right now the now, overwhelming um, yeah. favorite for NFL MVP will be Rodgers. Yeah. Would you agree? I got a quick question for um, you. Here and there, but go ahead. What do the Kelly? following players have in common? Calvin Johnson, Steve Smith, Julio Jones, AJ Green, T.Y. Hilton, and J.J. Watt. Same amount of touchdowns. They, they all touchdowns. have five receiving <laughs> nice. touchdowns this season. How is this guy not even in the story? Yeah. For NFL MVP. Sure. The guy is an he does it all. He's a monster. He's literally, he does it all. Well. Huh? J.J. Watt. Watt. Well, you know what? The, the I, guy's just a beast. He's not like he's lined up at wide and catching 60-yard touchdowns. They're bootlegs off the, uh, on the goal line. Regardless. I know. I'm a Warren Sapp fan. I saw Warren Sapp score. Defense, mm-hmm. Yeah, know. he's still a defensive end with five touchdowns. That's the same amount as some of the top wide receivers in the league. I know. That it's is sad. That is sad. It's unbelievable. It's really ba- would you? Really but, I, I, uh, who would you give it to? Rodgers or Watt? Real quick, uh, Rod, who is your MVP right now? I, I picked Rodgers at the beginning of the season. I mean, if the, so if the Texans don't make the playoffs, you got to give it to Aaron Rodgers. I say Rodgers only because I'm an offensive guy, but I think that this guy definitely does. I, I would love for it to be the way they used to do it, if I'm not mistaken. I think college did it. Where was it? Offensive, offensive MVP. Defense. Defensive MVP. Right. Yes. I would love for it to go back because it would be a no-brainer this year. Yes. You know, and I would, it would be stupid to say a co-MVP. But, you know, Rodgers, because the guy's just playing out of his mind. Mm-hmm. I'd love to say luck because he's going to throw for about 6 billion yards this yeah. year. You know, but, you know. Oh, he's a future. <laughs> yeah, Dukes. That's, that's no doubt. He's, he's, he doesn't even have to win the title. I got to go oh, Rodgers. I have, I have to. Just Dukes because his, he makes his team it's win. Great. Watt, 
He makes I mean, he makes the team win, but are the Texans really that great? Like, even with him on defense, well, listen, you Ryan, said it earlier. Ryan you know Fitzpatrick saying? is yeah. a beast. <laughs> well, <laughs> so he's a smart guy. He went to Harvard. Oh. Yeah, six touchdowns this week, leading FanDuel quarterback this week. I really, mm. I really like Aaron, Aaron I Rodgers. I think Rodgers, his Rodgers team, Rodgers his the offense is just amazing. It's been an eye question, though, Foss. He true. should be considered, though. Well. Absolutely. I put Russell Wilson in the runner-up, too. I'm sorry, even though they're struggling. Guys. I think they're nowhere without him. Definitely. i tell you this. We have a very fun Sunday ahead of us. Oh, absolutely. Very I can't fun wait. Sunday. We're starting with Thursday, starting with tomorrow night. You know who did it? Monday. Are you going to win the MVP? Jay Culler. Or, or Eli Manning. <laughs> or Eli Manning. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I don't know who picked Jay Culler. Eli Manning wins an MVP. Who, who picked Jay Culler to win an MVP? The <laughs> Eli Manning wins an MVP. Regular season MVP, I might have a heart attack. I don't know. <laughs> so, so, will the, so will have your Giants fans. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it's amazing. Usually usually when two teams share a stadium, it's like a race to see who's the better team. In MetLife, it's who could be worse. It's really. It's, I'm hoping it's, it's the Giants. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you're, only one, the pick. you're one game away. You know what? Before we go to commercial. One game away. One commercial. We have a commercial coming up, and I do want to ask the two Giant fans in a simple yes or no question. You get a top pick in the draft. Mariota's available. Are you weighing the idea of taking a quarterback? I want to jump in on this question, too. If Mariota is available, I I would think about drafting him not to start right away. Two years on the Eli. Uh, two years on the Eli, maybe three. But I, obviously, yeah, uh, I with, if really McAdoo would. is still our offensive coordinator, Mariota could be really good with us. I would. Pause. They're out of their minds, right? Yeah. You, yeah. You've lost. You've this, lost. Is ju- this, Listen, is I, 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 this is delusional giant talk. This is delusional giant usual. talk. Let me explain something to you. You guys it's have. A no it, to me, it's a no-brainer not to do it no. because you got a really, really, really good young quarterback sitting behind Eli Manning right now. That they can't. listen, I don't like Nasib. Nasib, listen to me. I'm t- t- we have a commercial break. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you like Ryan Nasib? Nasib. 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 We're not listening to this. I didn't know you were gonna go there. <laughs> no, no. I right, go, Faz. No, I just really right, think I think the kid is he, he's got if given the right tools, the kid can be very good. I think Mariota is going to be a flash in the pan. We've seen this year more than ever the rapid decline of the mobile quarterback. Yeah. Look at all the mobile quarterbacks. Right. It has become a fad. You need that pocket passer. That's why I will say Winston, Wilson. Winston will be, with the exception of him. He's look, Rottlesberger. F- forget, yeah. with the exception of Wilson, look at every other mobile quarterback. Look at right. Kaepernick. He has become God. a shell of what he is. But he could never throw the ball. Yeah, Kaepernick but, could never. At Nevada, right, he threw but, the ball but, four times but a game. my thing was yeah. he, he was a joke. I couldn't believe he, he was even good at one point in the NFL. Now they have ta- they, the defense has gotten smart, and they have taken away. Quarterback contained, keep him in the pocket, force him but to do something he can't. Mariota can still throw the ball. Really, yeah, he can, he I can still surprised. throw the ball. But you know what the difference is, Russell Wilson and Kaepernick and all them? I really truly believe this, that Russell Wilson puts it to the game film. He studies, and I don't think these guys do. No. And I think that's, I think like, oh, I got the likes. You're not Michael Vick. There's only one Michael Vick that could have done that. Right. He could have won games on his back. You could have never even given him a playbook. It didn't matter. Yeah. Russell Wilson takes everything to heart. Look at his interviews. Look how he carries up. Look at Cam Newton's interviews. Look at Kaepernick's interviews. These guys are so much worried about doing commercials and how their face looks and what the RG3 brand looks. Russell Wilson, game film, how to get better, how to get better, how to get better. On and on and on. That's what he is. And that's why Russell Wilson, MVP. They, the Seattle Seahawks are nothing without Russell Wilson this year. Absolutely. Phenomenal no, season. Absolutely Phenomenal. Not. And he plays just like Kaepernick and everyone else does. He plays exactly like them. And he's shorter than them. And why? Because of no, game film. No, they that's have why. The, they have these specific guys and they follow around them. Yeah. Great team. Yeah. The Shermans and the Lynches and the Wilsons, they can follow Listen, there comes a point in every great. franchise where you have to sit there and you have to just say, you know, the fans need to either accept what we have yeah. to do yeah. or just get stuck being angry. Every, look at the Knicks. Look. I don't want to get into it too much because we do need to get to a commercial break, but you need to rebuild at points. And yeah. I do think you have Use to take my, someone like Mariota and you do let him be. Use my team, for example. Like, you, like, uh, you cut, you released Peyton, Peyton Manning. Manning. Peyton Manning, we're talking about. Let him go. I just think it was just let him go. Such let a him walk away. away. And and you know what? Our fans are okay. Because why? We have the next forthcoming of Jesus Christ yeah. and Andrew Luck behind that. Judgment Day is upon us. Did yeah. you see, Foz? Did you see what Bill Polian said about you guys? No. He goes, if we drafted Andy Dalton that year, the year before, Peyton Manning would still be in the Colts. But yeah. they didn't do it. They didn't pick Andy Dalton. Peyton wanted him getting hurt. Andrew Luck, and they had to get rid of Peyton Manning. How crazy is that? That is a crazy thing. That's a crazy yeah. thing. But Giant fans, I want to touch on that. I would think it would be a mess is 
if Amari Cooper or Todd Gurley's out there and you draft an offensive and defensive lineman, I would I would go nuts. I would go nuts if they draft. You don't draft offensive linemen. You build with that five-year experience, six-year experience. Don't do it. I'm telling you, it never works. Robert Gallery, it's highest fine. pick. Don't do it. Let's you got guys. talent. Best talent available. We're going to hit the commercial available. break. Be this, like uh, the our football segment was brought to you by Unique Affairs Catering. And I would just like to say, tune in after the break. We're going to release to you our trivia question to win the jersey. Thank you. Addicted to Ink, a proud sponsor of the Zaraza Entertainment Network, is Westchester's premier tattoo piercing and apparel destination, offering only the finest tattoo and piercing services as well as the best atmosphere you will find. Addicted to Ink is located conveniently at 38 Westchester Avenue in White Plains, New York, right across the street from the Westchester Mall. If you got the itch for more ink, like the Zaraza boys do, get your work done right. Visit www.addictedtoinktattoos.com for more information. They were once knighted by the creator of Ustream.tv. Three knights of Ustream. In being the three knights of Ustream, their mission is to help turn up the volume on the last source of freedom of speech there is, the internet. So join the flagship show of the Zanalza Entertainment Network, Zanalza New York, every Tuesday and Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, streaming live from ZenLive.tv. They'll show you just how it's done in the World Wild West. ZenLive.tv! Independent music, alternative news, the underground, and the underrated. Hey, this is Vinnie Pasto. You can call me Big Pussy, and you're watching ZenLive.tv. You're watching the Zadalza Entertainment Network on, on ZenLive.tv. Zen Here, you'll find ridiculously good-looking people equipped with knowledge, intellect, and passion for speaking the truth. Does it get any sexier? A filtered mind is the only crime for ZenLive. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. Monday's got you off the wagon? Well, worry no more, because it's now officially a part of the three-day weekend. So get on board. Come party with the Standby Gypsy, Juju the Model, and Blue Rivera every Monday night for your entertainment week in review, off-the-wall interactive segments, live performances, in-depth interviews, and the latest in sports. The Hangover Takeover is live every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, only on ZenLive.tv. Vapors, located at 210 Americ Avenue in White Plains, New York. Visit our location and choose from a wide selection of exotic flavors. You're watching the Zadalza Entertainment Network on ZenLive.tv. Welcome back, everybody, to Pipe Bomb Sports Show. Tuning in for the big holiday giveaway on the Pipe Bomb Sports Show, which is the Tampa Bay Lightning authentic Stephen Stamkos jersey. That is straight up authentic. And the trivia question that I do want to bring to everybody, considering Martin Brodeur recently signing with the St. Louis Blues, I decided let's keep it St. Louis Blues based. Yeah, they have jersey Ready? Yeah. That's a, we'll talk about that because I <laughs> cried honestly. I really did. I had to wear it off. I understand. I understand. <laughs> we should see what's under this. <laughs> and um, the trivia question is since 1994, which St. Louis Blues goalie 
leads the team in regular season wins since 1994. It was the same year Martin Brodeur won the Calder Trophy for Rookie of the Year. So since 1994, which St. Louis Blues goalie has the most regular season wins? That's a tough question. It's, it's a, a tough question. It's a tough question. We'll keep making note of it. If you have I a pair of binoculars, you could see the you could see the question written about in two font on the bottom of our screen. <laughs> you could check it out. It's pretty nice. It's pretty enjoyable. It's I like it. You know. Oh, right. Right between the lines. Why don't we try like two hundred there, Gips? I'm digging up literally. <laughs> 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 but anyway. It's so big cool. as it goes. Yeah. It's fine. Right. <laughs> if you're not watching you're Repeat not the question, it. Fred. If you're not watching, it's fine. Since nineteen ninety four, which St. Louis Blues goalie leads the organization in regular season wins? Okay. Uh, and the question is, you have the answer, you call in. You answer correctly, you get this jersey. We will mail it to you. You can email us your contact information, and we will contact you regarding. That what one what, four, what five, caller? Five, 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 four, eight, five, seven, one. Caller number one. What's the number? Mm, we'll so go seven. Caller number seven. Caller number, Call number seven. All right. Caller number seven. <laughs> I like that. I don't know why seven. All right. number seven. Lucky, yeah. Lucky so man. listen. The number's on the bottom of the screen. We want to hear from you. If you know your hockey, you get this answer. Come join the Frank. Ta- come Guys. stump us. Yeah. Why did he do He's this? He's about to play the Jeopardy music. Dude. Is, he gonna, is he going to kiss his helmet tonight three times? If he kisses his helmet, I am going to cry like you have never seen me cry. We're going to have live footage from Francesco's house tonight. Right. Him in the fetal position after watching Martin Brodeur in a St. Louis jersey. Crying. We, got we got a caller. We got a caller. Real quick. But he's not number seven. Hi, who's calling? We, take, we have the call. Hello? You got Pipe on Sports Show. Who's calling? Good feedback. You lost your chance. Next. Now, does that count as call number one? That counts as call number one. We got one. We'll no, take that. Well, that, that, that was, se- that was <laughs> seven. Call. Listen, was prank. what if he calls back seven times? Hey, that's smart on really him. Smart. That's Genius. a smart man. He should call back seven Genius, times. Genius, I bad I memorized Six drop calls, and then he had to If Rex it. Ryan can run the ball seven times in a row, <laughs> <laughs> call seven times. Listen, I just want to ask you guys. I'm going to look at this from the outside in. Now, obviously, we all know there's two devil fans here, a guy who idolized the man himself. Yeah. Respect the man for what it's worth. Anybody that knows, the record that he has, Martin Brodeur leads the NHL in Every single goaltending no, stat you could imagine. If there was a stat, he broke it. But why? And now, do you realize he signed for one year, seven hundred? Lou Lamorello, one <laughs> year, seven hundred thousand dollars to the St. Louis Blues. He has some decent incentives. And they just went from being, in my opinion, currently. Man, we got another caller. You've reached Pipe on Sports Show. Who's calling? My name is Pat from the Bronx. Pat from the Bronx. Pat. What's, what's going on? Nothing much. Did you get the trivia question? Is the guy named Nikolai, Nikolai Kubalan? No. no, but Valiant Effort. Yeah. Valiant Effort. Valiant and Effort. I respect nice Charles. It's a wild name. Are you trying to say Nikolai Habibulin? No, Habibulin. Nikolai Habibulin never touched C's in St. Louis. <laughs> yeah. We respect the effort. I'm Thank you, about that. That. Sick cut. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks for calling. Next try. All right. Come back. Some buzz. Friend. Listen. Sorry. Keep going. No, so my thing is, Bro. like, you look at the Devils. And you see this team that's struggling. We really are. Corey Schneider gets this many days off. A big donut. The guy doesn't play. He doesn't get a day off. They're a bottom feeder, the Devils. Bottom feeder right now. Yeah, What's yeah. going on? We don't even score. And our top three forwards last night. Eliash, Yager, out. Two of the top three. Steven Gianta, our best defensive player, out. And we're going to get worse. Yeah. yeah. So you have to can't figure, why can't we have signed Brodeur this season and say one more year, $700,000. Clearly, it wasn't about money for Marty. Yeah. And you play 41 games, split the season with Schneider, even less. He's not gonna play much well, maybe it was about a ring, and you guys weren't going to get a yeah, ring. You don't think it say. was about that? Do you think maybe they had that conversation like, with the press? Oh, uh, yeah. You're Probably. talking about one of the hottest. We got another teams. caller. Another caller. Same, Thanks same for tuning number. in to Pipe on Sports Show. What do we got here? Hey, this is John from the Bronx. John, what do you got? How are you doing? I'm all I'm right. right. Yes. Are you, I'm going to go you, with. Go on. Go on. Uh, my guess was going to be Curtis Joseph. That's actually no, really, that's close. Oh, wow. no. really close. Really close. Really close. But that, that was a good guess. guess. He was actually second. Uh, right. uh, thanks, thanks, buddy. Well, thanks for the call. Okay. That was close. Because we said it before the show. So you're going to uh, lose it when you hear some of these names. You knew Curtis Joseph was going to yeah. be brought up. 
Listen, and I'm going to bring up because someone's going to get this right. And when the person gets this right, I'm going to bring up one instance that's going to blow your mind. Again, repeat yeah, repeat the question. I will repeat the question one more time. Since 1994, which was Martin Brodeur's Calder Trophy rookie season, who has won the most games in the St. Louis Blues franchise during the regular season in net? Simple as that. So, let me ask you guys. Let's, let's, yeah. let's just get off this Devil's Blues topic. About the call. <laughs> if you're Martin Brodeur, if, if, you're, if you're a sports fan and you're, you're led, I'm talking legend, literally, <laughs> the face of a position, Goes and does everything with your team. Wins three Stanley Cups. Should have won a Conn Smythe. Wins a billion Vezinas. He goes to another team on his last season. Guaranteed this is his last year. Are you a little heartbroken or are you okay with it? I think in the sport of hockey, I'm okay with it. Like, yep. Scotty Niedemeyer leaving for you guys. You said, <sighs> like, when, you know, it, like stuff like this happens. Yep. In hockey. Like, how many old like older guys went to Detroit to try to win one all those years? Yeah. This does happen in hockey. Barney yeah. Brother is the Devils. He will always be the Devils, even though he's blue, he's the Devils in my eyes. Dugan, what do you think? Are you yeah. okay with it from a Devils uh, fan? I mean, it's going to hurt. Don't get me wrong. i seeing him in a different jersey. But hurt. on the terms of him maybe getting another ring, I'd be happy to see him get a ring. So, I you mean, know what? Yeah, me too. I, I, don't, I don't feel too bad. But if he loses, oh, we I, I'll caller, be upset. Dude. We'll get okay. back to you. Dude. Next call. Hey, welcome to Pipe Bomb Sports Show. You got the answer? <laughs> That's really loud. All right, I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you got call back in, but you're going to have to lower that. All right. So, uh, go on. But, yeah, like I was saying, um, obviously I don't think the Devils could have gave him a decent chance at winning. So, I, I don't. I don't mind him going to a different team that can actually win a ring. So I hope he gets it done. I, I'm, of course, I'm going to watch him. But, yeah, me too tonight. Um, it's going to hurt a little bit. It is because yeah. I've watched him for over 20 years. Over. But I think it's just in any sport. I mean, yeah, the real I mean, don't sport. you think like going back to the days of like Carl Malone chasing that ring? You know, like yeah. he knew he was never going to win it with Utah. You know, I had no problem. Like, don't get me wrong, he lost. He yeah, he came up in the Jordan days, but like. I had no problem with him trying to go to L.A. or these other, you know, these guys just going yeah. around basically becoming mercenaries, yeah. trying to find, get that ring. Because, you know what, ultimately, that's for the true competitor in these guys. That's what they play that's this game for. Yeah. They want to win. They want to know that they're the best and that what, you know, they're still at the top of their game. You know, so I, I, I honestly, like, I know it's going to be hard, you know, because you're so accustomed to seeing him with that devil on, you know, but it's. I have no issue with him joining, you know, and I, I my hat's off to him. Yeah. You know, give it one more go, and, you know, farewell man. tour. I'm asking this man right here. Monk of Dunk. Monk, I want to hear from you so much right now. Oh, phone number. Oh, we got one more call. Hey, thanks for calling. It's Pipe on Sports Show. What's your name? Where are you from? Turn down the computer. You got to just lower your computer, that's all. Hello? Yeah, the answer, Grant Furr. Yeah. Grant, yeah. Yeah. Grant the Fuhrer, man. What's uh, what's your name, buddy? That's it, man. This is um, Anthony from New Rochelle. All right, Anthony from Anthony. New Rochelle. Listen, uh, all you have to do to uh, claim your jersey is do you have Twitter? Hello? Uh, my Twitter is Cristiano. Okay, do us a favor. You can eat Add Pipe Bomb phone. Sports. Cristiano. Well, I memorized that, but that doesn't make sense. Well, call back. Hey, if you want the jersey, you want, you're still watching. Ahead. Yeah, if you're, wa if you're watching, you want the jersey, you can direct message us on Instagram, or you can email us at pipebombsports at gmail.com. Simple as that. Yeah. Real simple. All right. Grand Fury. Grand Fury. Got it. 108 Got it. wins. Did he, did he won, win cups in Edmonton? Yes, he was yes. in the dynasty era. Right? He was yeah. That's what Edmonton. I said. Oh. I was thinking Edmonton. Mm -hmm. go, oh, easy answer. No, yeah. I'm not right, thinking right. St. Louis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why this guy won the jersey. Yeah. I yeah. am. Good. He, good. We got a first. The next we week. First. Next week, another jersey. We got you another know which jersey? one it is? I got a throwback. A throwback. A winner classic throwback. Nice. Winner classic. And we got uh, three winners from oh, yeah. our college football that ended, actually. So, not bad. Um, Al Siciano came in second. Rocco Miano, who was in a 99.7 percentile, which was amazing, came in third. And John D'Alessio came in first. So Al and Rocco going to get Alabama T-shirts. And John D'Alessio has chosen, I spoke with John, a Rutgers jersey he wants.
So wow. okay. So congratulations, guys. I hope it was a good experience. I suppose. Shoes of Rutgers. Yeah. I spoke to Al. Guys that really don't get into college football and they're hooked out. And that was the whole point so, of the whole tournament. And I'm glad that was a success because so, that was the whole point of doing fantasy college. Listen, we need to get back to this. It's serious because it's a very serious situation in sports. One, eventually so many jerseys are going to get retired, there might not be numbers in sports anymore. That's one thing. We're back to a phone call. This is an excellent question. We're back. We got another phone call. What? Same guy calling. Is it? Pipe on Sports Show. Who's calling in? Hi, this is John. This is the winner. John Galesio, the winner of the uh, college football. Oh, he's calling! Hey, there he is! Hey, John! Hey. I had a call in. I wanted to thank Nelson for contacting me. He got me out. I went with a Rutgers jersey because it's close to home, number 23. Not 27 for Ray Rice, though. Okay. 23, <laughs> my favorite number. So I had to ask the question. Do we plan on doing a college bowl pick em for all the bowl games? You know, we're going to go look at time. We got a, a crowd like we did last time and brought it up. We'll, I will definitely look into it, John. We'll definitely look definitely. into it. I know me and, and my friends home, we do it. We love it. Too. We rank them. We'll get into it. And in college basketball, too. Hopefully oh, we're definitely doing too. college basketball. Yeah, yeah. 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 Definitely yeah. Time. John, John, I was doing that before be you asked. Man. John, this is Pipe Bob Sports. <laughs> Don't expect anything less. That might be done live on air. That might get his own show. John, congratulations. coming in first place. You did a hell of a job. 14 weeks strong. You battled. You were in the top 10. Throughout, you battle all the way up to the top. Good job, John. Thank you, John. I appreciate, appreciate it. Thank it you. Awesome. Started good. Thanks, John. Some good breaking news, you. guys. The Atlanta Braves just signed Nick Marcakis. I'm, nice. about, as, I'm uh, about as interested uh, in that as nothing. Uh, they get rid of Jason Hayward from Marcakis. I'm just saying. You know what? Ten uh, years ago, that's interesting. You know what? Listen, the guy's still back 300. He's a little off in it, too. Two guys. The Orioles just lost Marcakis and Nelson Cruz. That's why I'm interested. Where'd Nelly go? He went to the Seattle Dude, Mariners. Seattle Mariners. Because all of a sudden, Seattle, Seattle has money. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. You know why? They just got a new television deal. Oh. Yes. Second biggest in major yeah. league. It took them Fox 12 Sports? years to steal it from the yes. Was it Fox Sports? They broke up in the bank. They won it. Good for them. Hernandez and Iwakuma at the yeah. front. It's a baseball market. They They'll have be a nice 3 4 5 with Caesar, Once every five Renault, days. And Nelson Cruz now. <laughs> Listen, Vaz, you know you're thinking the same. Mariners win that division. You heard it. Mariners win the division. All right? No. He's an angry <laughs> Not going to happen. They win. Listen, I want to get back to this jersey business. <laughs> and this, you know, I don't want to hear about baseball if there's nobody swinging a bat. Listen, so here's my thing. You're, I want, tell me your favorite team, Foz, period, pro sports. Period, pro sports. I'm going to say the Yankees. Okay. New York Yankees. The New York Yankees. Dugan. G-Men. G-Men. Nelly. Yankees in the U. So you know what? I want to center around the Yankees right now. I love okay. that. Derek Jeter. Oh, I love Let's him. be honest. Oh. Should have had no business starting on a field in the last season. Oh, jeez. Let's say his contract okay, was up the year before. Right. I'm just making a point. Do you, do, I'll bring up other shortstops that were starting for teams. Just we keep going. Yankees. All right. Well, 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 well let's see where you're going just with this first, and then we'll, ahead, we'll completely ahead. attack you. I respect the guy. I don't like the guy. I've always said it. Okay. You're a Mets so, fan. Well, we'll understand. Her, get sniff our asses this season. So here's my thing. If Derek Jeter takes a walk and goes to play for the St. Louis Cardinals. Destroys me. No. Nah. Are, de- are you devastated? Completely. For one year. Just signs. Completely. For one more run. Annihilates me. Completely. Well, it doesn't change my opinion on the guy. It just hurts me. Hurts? Yeah. I think it hurts. Does it hurt him? No. Does it hurt I, him? I, I don't think it hurts him. I, here's my thing. I think it hurts It hurts the fan more because yeah. of the whole farewell tour that he had. If he wouldn't have announced on Facebook last year that this was going to be his final year and did the whole farewell tour and everyone was giving him gifts and this, that, and the third, and you know what, whatever, and he decided to up and leave and leave. And then all of a sudden, now, you know, the St. Louis Cardinals, you know, uh, whatever the hell his name is, at shortstop, breaks his leg. They reach out to Jeter, and he's like, you know what? Hey, why not? You know, and he signs. Yeah. New York Yankees are devastated. Well, New York Yankee fans are devastated. You're right. You, you know, know well, in, in with Foz, we never felt that other side of Boston. Like, Johnny Damon came here to play. Jacoby Ellsbury came here to play. Even Kevin Euclid came Wade here to Boggs. play. Wait, yeah, Roger Wade Box. Yeah, But I was young when Wade Box happened, so I really didn't, like, feel that. So, like, I say, like, Bernie Williams went to go play with the Red Sox. I would flip. I would hate it. Like, a Jeter, Paul O'Neill, even. Like, I think it was John Flaherty. John Flaherty did. I wanted to. I, I hate John Flaherty now. Bro, don't wait to the blues. To he didn't go to yeah. the Islanders. He, 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 he didn't go to one of your ne- your I arch, go to your, your rivals. Didn't go to the I heard yeah. I heard three rumors all season. The three rumors were one, the Islanders. The second rumor I heard was the Penguins. 
And the third rumor I heard was the Philadelphia Flyers. Wow. So mm. then three match. If Bozo went to any of those three teams, it would have been any ex- so it would have been say? devastating right. to his legacy. It would have been devastating to the fan base that he built. Would have been excommunication. It would have been devastating even in Montreal. They love him in Montreal. He wanted to play for Montreal. He said, "I'll back up Carey Price." Mm. But they're a different market right now. They're going very young. They're a great team. Marty went to St. Louis. Now understand something about St. Louis. Brian Elliott's hurt. That that was their starter. Now, I love this kid, Jake Allen. I've been raving You're about right. Jake Allen. Right. He's a good goalie. He's athletic. He's tall. He's about to learn under the best goalie of all time. Yeah. So raw talent is about to become a finished product. Absolutely. And I think it was just more than a one-year $700,000 deal. I think this is a help this kid out, and you'll have a spot here, too, if you need. Uh, Witcher, you know you want to talk about tutelage? I'm listening. Go back to baseball? You know who's going to be a hitting coach in MLB? No. Raul Banyas. He's got an office Raul in a hitting coach. Good for him. I just wanted to throw You love Raul. 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 I love Raul. I was there. Love Raul You're there. Banyas. You're Marco, right? I was he, always a Banyas fan. Was unbelievable. unbelievable. He's perfect. Oh, he's Yankees good. look at him. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I listen. But yeah, tutelage is yeah, nice great. Career. Coaching is great. Nice career, Raul. And Brett Favre and Rodgers. Yeah. These things have uh, to it happen. Happens. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's what the St. Louis Brass saw in this opportunity. They gave him a tryout, and they said, you know what? We have this kid, Jake Allen. He's our top prospect. Martin Brodeur is only looking for the minimum dollar to have the best goalie ever. A, he's going to be now a market, in a market where they sell out every home game. They market Their TV ratings are through the roof. Yeah. Tonight, Wednesday night hockey, rivalry night, yep. St. Louis Blues with Chicago Blackhawks. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. getting watched on NBC oh, yeah. Sports Network. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> you, 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 just, you know that there's oh, yeah. more than just – Having Martin Brodeur to win you a title, he's going to help. You were going to bring Fred, something. I, I keep going, Monk. Go you were, were going to bring something up about numbers getting retired. They're running out. Well, you know, I, there's one universally retired number in hockey. There's only one. 99. 99. Every team. And, and it will probably always be that. Could Sidney Crosby? You know, hold on. I'm going to stop there. Stop you right there because that's why I want to ask you. You think that Lemieux came back to help out Crosby when Crosby first came up? Lemieux was still hanging on? Yes. You think he stayed around to help Crosby come up? Well, that's well, exactly what my question Crosby was. Crosby lived with him for five years. That's so, what I want to yeah. ask you. Talk okay. But Lemieux really. was playing, great so he could have retired. He was old. Said, Ellie, great example. In an interview with Lemieux, he said, do you know what Sidney Crosby does on weekends? He stays home and plays video games with my kids. Yeah. yeah. And he talks with Mario Lemieux. Yeah. Like they sit at the dinner table and yeah. talk. Nice. Yeah, that's why he's so great. That's, you know I'm what, you want to be a professional, you he learn from a professional. Yep. Ooh, and I'll be honest with you, Mario Lemieux doesn't get sick all those years oh, ago. You could really be talking about Mario Lemieux being the best hockey player of well, all time. You, well, even now you compare him to Gretzky. I love so Mario Lemieux. Yeah, yeah. No, I know one's like too. Wayne. No, no one's well, like Wayne's Wayne. Wayne's a super. Wayne's, Wayne's, Wayne's a movie star. He's Wayne's great Wayne. Great Goose Gretzky. I'm a Pittsburgh lover. I know sports. Great Goose Gretzky. He's the best. Yeah. Where do you get these names? Names, man. It's so oh my God, Grey Goose Gretzky. That's gonna be trending worldwide soon. Grey Goose Gretzky. Yep. Get that on Twitter, folks. That's the best. Oh my God. Listen, you know you're the great one. We we we're a very fortunate generation. Yeah. As sports fans, oh, we have seen, seen a lot players that our kids are gonna be hearing about. We, Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter. The Bro Doors. The Messi. The Ron winners. James. The Gretzkys. The Ron James. Yeah. Ronaldo's. Yeah. Rafa Nadal. Tiger, Tiger Woods. Woods. Roger Federer. Yeah. Roger Federer. Yeah. Roger Federer. Yeah. Roger Federer. Yeah. Tiger Woods. Federer. Sampras. Sampras. Yeah. Sampras. Sergey Federov. Federov. Yeah. yeah. With those Nike white Nike skates. I will skates. say one thing. Look at <laughs> Steve Eisenman doing with that Tampa Bay Lightning. They're dying, they're Learned under Ken Holland, who's a great GM. He's great been GM. the GM for the Detroit Red Wings for years. Steve Eisenman, Tulich. 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 Brought the best good players to Tampa Bay. They're yes. I got a question for Dugan and Foz. Dugan and Foz. When uh, 10 years from now, or 15, who, what quarterback will you miss the most watching? Ooh, Between, that's a question for me. That's a great question. That's an easy question. What, Foz? Kind of He'll be paid. Yeah. I, I just think the guy, the sheriff, he, he yeah. really is. He's like he's you said, he's a sorcerer. sorcerer. He, this the guy I'm gonna miss I hearing shot someone the sheriff. say. You'd love to shoot him, wouldn't I you? I would love it. I'm gonna hit Omaha. You know exactly. How, like I, the, just the way he controls the line. It's uh, you know, and I we posted an article Perfect. this week on the on the website. It's who's gonna win the battle of the brains, Manning versus Belichick. Yeah. Yeah. and it's just it's you're beautiful to watch. You, you're really gonna miss. Dukes, I miss I'm with you, Bolton. I miss Manning and Brady, yeah, yeah. for that matter. That but you got to pick one. Rivalry. You got to pick one, one guy. I got to pick Peyton Witcher. Yeah. 
Peyton's. It's a tough. I know you hate it, but Peyton's so smooth and Drew Brees. You can throw Drew Brees in there too. Question. It's a very. You know the reason it's Peyton. But I go Peyton. You know, Brady comes with Belichick. Yeah. That's, you're right. Monk. Yeah, Monk's right. Not that Brady's not the golden. Batman and Robin. Robin. Make right, exactly. Peyton's, Peyton's, Do you think. You know, here's, a qu- here's, here's the real question for you. You're so Do you think within the next two years, when Brady <laughs> hangs it up, that Belichick goes with him? That's a great question. That's a great question. That's a fantastic question. That's I mean, a great question. I, honestly, I, yes. I think Bill Belichick's the only one that knows that. that yes. I would, and maybe I would. Robin because Brady. I don't think Belichick can, in his right mind, Start from scratch. Yeah. I know, I know. Did, did I just think don't think he can play going into the next year, right? I, I just think he's going Brady to the coast. Bad that year too. <laughs> Imagine the team was bad. They yeah. would be, he'd be getting questions. Brady goes, Belichick goes. Would he want? It? Yeah, because he wouldn't want to go out. Yeah. Was a bad year not having Brady. Like, oh, yeah, no. Brady all these years. Imagine. What you don't like Garoppolo? <laughs> <laughs> Garoppolo so Island. as good as Ryan <laughs> Nassar. Almost as good as Ryan Nassar. <laughs> Listen, I, that's a, it's just like you you sit there and you think sport and you're just like. Like, who look we've seen, yeah. man. And Ellie, I will say one guy who, yeah. who is going to be a good quarterback oh. and who is just good now. Jameis. I, you know, I'm not, another I know, guy, Monk. I, I know, Monk. Close the show early. I, I know. Because I, I, don't, I don't know what to say Dude, anymore. I guy. love I'm every... I'm sick of watching him in close games just <laughs> continually pull games out. It's, it's unbelievable. It's he is Jekyll. It's all picks and wins. But... Listen to me. Four picks on five throws. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't really think Dude, about it. Four picks on four throws. He's a little careless with the ball. But you know what? Here's the thing. <laughs> but, that, but, but that's what he still comes what. back and that's wins. That's what's putting them at number four right now. They have openly not said. Convincingly, they right. said that they're not they're so convincingly right. winning. Yeah. And that is why yeah. they sit at four. And um, in my opinion, point. are on a teeter to be potentially, depending on the well, results of this week. But depending on the results of this weekend, if they have another close game, I would not be no. overly shocked, no. and I'm telling you right now, call an EMT to his house. You know, it, if you there will be an we EMT won't to talk college football anymore. I'll t- yeah. I was just about to say, if you think I'll if we have been on the team out, no can't. way. If I agree with what you're saying. I'm telling you right now, if Florida State ACC wins too. this next game, there's n- no zero chance percent zero. chance yeah. of them missing out on the playoff. <laughs> but I'm they haven't lost a game in two years. I'm warning you guys. There's no way. Friend, as your co-host. As a Jameis Winston superhero fan, superhero. okay, Brandy's I'm warning you guys, <laughs> if we go undefeated and we don't make it to the top four, I'm going to bash the NCAA oh, yeah. I, football I, I, I world with you. so bad that with you guys will just sit there and go, He's this building right. might be on fire. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get Because I know you deep. guys will agree with me if that happens. Uh, you I know hate I'm the a committee. Lover. I do. I'm a lover, but, but they're like, geniuses. They yeah, really are. Really. They're getting everyone to watch and tune into college football yeah. this year. But it's sick. I'm watching. But yeah. Nothing, and you, and do we you talk about it today. Adam, were you against Well, I'm only watching FSU. But you're watching. But I'm watching. Right now, if let's just say the four teams sit the way they are, look at the matchups you got the first week. You got Bama, FSU. TCU Oregon. The under over on that game is going to be about 110. Yeah. There's going to be no defense in that game. <laughs> and it's all. The NCAA. Alabama, Florida State built the kind of safe. Traditional, good coaches. I will, I will Oregon, see. TCU. You know, lower end, you know, not high, medium market uh, teams. And fast paced styled offenses with no defense. Uh, and I'm with it there. But TCU, you're third. Dude, you don't I'm play. Like, was... You almost lost to Kansas. Dugan. Dude. I didn't even know they played football in Kansas. <laughs> Dugan, he's, I got You're not in Kansas you. anymore. I, were you were you impressed with Gus Malzahn's game plan this week? Did you think that uh, it could have it almost held up and the talent came through in the end? Because I thought he had a great game plan going. I mean, he game. jumped out. Right? Right. They looked amazing. Right? I I like I, I, I picked I, Bama. I loved Bama this I, week, and was I was Nick like, Marshall what is going on right now? And well. Bama was just. I think the talent just came through. Saban's the man. Yes. Saban's the man. I'm sorry. Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper is the man. He, you could make he a case. He reminds a little bit of Julio Jones. Yeah. No? He's exactly like Julio he's Jones. Exact, you want to know what exactly Nelly like Julio Jones? So no. Nelly, and I said that from we the were watching beginning. the game and Nelly yeah, said it right. When they were down on Amari yeah. Cooper. Seven. Played himself into the Heisman. He could win the Heisman. His watch. No, he, there's he's no question. Top he took three the game right over. now. No, 
in, in Heisman, yeah. Because I don't think that kid Blake Sims is too great. I think he's more of a game manager. You took the words out of my mouth. See, why is Alabama versus Florida State so special? Because you got a rookie quarterback in Alabama versus the Heisman and James right, Winston. And God forbid, Florida State, who could stop the run, makes them one-dimensional. How they stopped the run against Miami and Duke Johnson. Florida State could beat Miami. Florida State can't beat Miami. Make them one-dimensional, a month off, a lot could happen. They got the spread posted at 12 if they play each other. I love Alabama. I picked in the world. I promise you, if I had a bet on the game, I would take Florida State plus 12. No problem. No problem. A month off, a lot could happen in a month off. A lot could happen in a month off. Yeah, James Winston could be arrested with three more charges and, you know, Tallahassee. He might not even play. He's on a jury right now. We got to find out, but he'll get through it. He'll get through it. You guys want to go? No. We say this all the time. We don't go anywhere. Let's go. <laughs> you don't go anywhere. Listen, so right now, let's put it this way. I'm, I'm, I, I, well, I'm probably speaking out of the truth. I don't know anything that's going on in the top four. You guys know yeah. way more than I do. What am I supposed to be watching this weekend to be like, okay, this just shook something up? Uh, 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 to shake things up, the Oregon-Arizona game. If Arizona wins, Arizona there's win absolutely no way that you could tell me Arizona this year, if they beat Oregon – Twice this year, they're, they're the only two four. losses. How are they not a, ahead of Oregon? They play like crap against UCLA. But, but, guys, bad. A new how, but how can bad. you say that Oregon's better than them when they beat them twice this year? Yeah. If they do win, I'm not saying they're going to win, that's but true. if that's they true, do true, win, I think it's that's true. true Oregon has just, three losses in the last year. He's right. he's three. He's if they lose, I'm sorry, they have t- two losses. They lost to Arizona last year too. This team has their number. I'd be nervous if I was Oregon. Okay. We're gonna assume that Florida State's gonna be locked. You know, we like have we to said. pray. If Florida State wins, I think I will go to win. But my thing is, I think it's a three pony race for the last one. I think it's going to be TCU who should easily handle Ohio State. Uh, they are going to Illinois. Kill. Who yeah. are they playing? Iowa, um, Iowa State yeah, or whoever it is. Like that. They're playing the, Iowa State. Oh, Iowa State or something like that. They you, are notorious for trumping teams, though. Right. You got they Trump, Boise you, State you got back the, in the you day. You got the Baylor game. And let's see what, what Ohio State shows up this week. Yep. You know, um, I think that's. I think it's down to those three for that final spot. I really do, mm-hmm. you know. And then we'll see, State, see what it is. It's so sad because so me, and D- yeah. Dugan, we've been on the Urban Meyer bandwagon, and this sad, kid JT Barrett yeah. shows up, oh, and they got the gosh. game, and, and so it broke his leg. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. The same yeah. year. Come on. But I tell you what, Urban Meyer is one of the best coaches in college, and if you don't think that he's ready for this game and yeah, a game yeah. plan to mean. beat Wisconsin, you're you're Set surely mistaken. This coach will have. The game plan in order to beat Wisconsin. I'm, I, I actually I think Ohio State can still win this game with a backup. I, I uh, think they could blow them out still. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I was. You guys. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Because uh, I, I was talking to somebody at um, recently, and he's a big college fan. He's a West Virginia fan. He lives in West Virginia. The whole deal. And he brought it up to me. He goes, "Rich Rodriguez is the best coach in West Virginia recent history." Oh yeah. And he said the thing that he's noticing is he feels like the committee is moving Arizona closer to the top to make the ratings more interesting for Absolutely. Arizona Oregon. But not that Arizona deserves to be there, but he said if Arizona were to win this game, they're in the top four. They, they cover themselves. They, re- they, they really they're might prote- be They're protecting sport. themselves. They really I might be. Michigan. You know, if, everyone was on his back when he went to Arizona, and he's been great with them. So it's awesome. not going to happen. I don't think it's they not, can win. In Oregon? But no uh, one's going to watch Alabama versus game, Arizona. Game, no. You would watch Alabama versus Baylor. You would watch Alabama versus Ohio State. You will not watch Alabama versus Arizona. Why? Because Arizona plays no defense, and their quarterback's a one-trick pony, and Nick Saban will kill him. Okay. Nick Saban will, I, I, but Guys, I there is a case. Like Duke said, there is a case, but I, I wouldn't do it. If I'm the committee, I wouldn't put this team From in there. From what I know, I can't imagine Alabama losing this thing anywhere. Uh, they're good. They're, 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 they're incredible. They're beatable. But they're beatable because Gus Malzahn put a little trick into them. He yeah, said, he Blake Sims beat us. And that's what you got to do. You got to score it, and you got to let Blake Sims beat you. Make Blake Sims beat him. Yeah. You got to make Blake. And if you take Cooper out of the game somehow. How? I don't know. What I, you know, <laughs> I, what I was shocked, honestly, how? was the deep throw from uh, Auburn. I couldn't believe how Sammy Coates. M- Marshall looked that good. Sammy Coates. I, 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 I could have, like, looked really good they on. looked very good. Do you think Florida State, as a Florida State fan, should you be nervous against Georgia Tech this week? I mean, Jim, <laughs> I mean, because Georgia Tech doesn't throw. It's the option. Uh, I'm but, little, and you guys a, stopped the run good. But what do you I, feel? You okay? You got to be nervous. But like, I th- I, the thing when I watch Florida State, and it's the only thing I expect is. You're going to be nervous. <laughs> yeah, 
I mean, I, I, I could win and not be in the top four. I really think that this committee is that sick. I don't trust human beings to make decisions like this. For me. How could they not like the ACC? We played ACC versus SEC this week. Four games, we went three and one. And we still got no love. Friend, just and just think. I think it we went 4-0. We went 4-0. We went 4 If you would take this last year, if this was last year, Florida State's not even in the discussion for the yeah. national championship game. Yeah. A team mm-hmm. that has not lost in two years, not even in the well, discussion for the national championship game, being ranked at four. If you, if Whose you fault look, is that? The, the AP polls. Which is fault? That That's why. It's yeah. followed last absolutely year. Is. No one else is fault for this. We believe that is off the field bull. Absolutely. Of course. They're trying to avoid it. you you got to remember, they, they, they're, they're really, I'm telling you, you're going to see a lot of stuff come out the minute this kid is done playing for Florida State yeah. football. Oh, you're yeah. going to see the balloon, the cocoon come off of this kid, and it, the war, a shit show is going to happen with this kid. He's going to be in court more than he's going to be on a field anyway. I, this I, kid is a big problem. A big problem. Uh, and he just has a smile on his face, like nothing's wrong. But yeah. that's a because, six because, to because this little kid. Because he, right now, because he's he's he's, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. You know, nothing he, can get to him. Nothing can get to him because yeah. the university that's is covering true, him. That's very true, Foz. It's very true. But the saying about Florida State is they played three unranked teams the last three. But you played Miami and Florida. What about Ohio State? You almost lost to Michigan. That game was great, all the way to the end. And we go to TCU. You almost lost to Kansas. Kansas has two wins on the whole season. So what does that mean? You're dropping the four. TCU. Who'd you beat, TCU? Who'd TCU beat? Who was that uh, big game? TCU. Who was that number one? Kent down. State? TCU. Uh, they, well, they, uh, beat? They, beat we- they beat West Far, who Baylor didn't beat. Okay. Um, and they beat West Far by one. They beat, yeah, by one. K-State by 20. Okay, yeah. so the Baylor. That's, okay. that's a good win. All right. And what? The third one is Texas? Texas is terrible. Texas is terrible. Mm-hmm. Oklahoma, Oklahoma has four losses. They beat them by four? Yeah. At home. That's not, you're not, where's your statement win? Where's your statement win? In West Virginia? West Virginia. That's your statement win. Richard's not there. Pat White's not at quarterback. We have a week. Gino's I, I really not there either. I really hope they do because they deserve it. They really do deserve it. Ohio State. Ohio State. Ohio State. They do. They deserve it. I, really I hope Urban Meyer, and I hate them, as you know, drops 40 on them, Wisconsin. I love Melvin Gordon, but Stavi's not a good quarterback. And if you let Stavi throw, he can throw a lot of picks. You don't have to throw the ball. He had Tim Tebow. You don't have to throw the ball as a quarterback. All you have to do is run. I'd make a wide receiver play quarterback. I swear to God. I swear <laughs> to God. Wild. I swear to God, I would. I well, swear to God, I would. Guys, I mean, my thing now is the weekend's here. Are there any games that I specifically should be watching? Give me two of your your two favorite games and I just give me a winner. Florida State, Georgia Tech. I'm going to watch Georgia that regardless. Tech. I'm watching I, that, yeah. I kind of like Georgia Tech in the game, to be honest. That's what I'm saying. They, four. they run. Is, they're one of the oh, best. They're the, to a commercial? the top three <laughs> run team in the league. They average over 300 yards of rushing a game. You know how hard that is? Guys, we need to it's take, their defense. That's we need to take a commercial break. We do. And when we come back, I think we need to have a real serious debate. Okay. Great debate. Great debate. Great. Our great debate. Uh, See you guys after the break. So we have Monday's a- got you off the wagon? Well, worry no more, because it's now officially a part of the three-day weekend. So get on board. Come party with the Standby Gypsy, Juju the Model, and Blue Rivera every Monday night for your entertainment week in review, off-the-wall interactive segments, live performances, in-depth interviews, and the latest in sports. The Hangover Takeover is live every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, only on zenlive.tv. Use that word so much. I say a hundred times every morning. Keeps my teeth white. And one more thing. Where the fuck did you get that accent? Hey, this is Vinny Pastor. You call me Big Pussy, and you're watching ZenLive.tv. You're watching the Zadalza Entertainment Network on, on ZenLive.tv. Here, you'll find ridiculously good-looking people equipped with knowledge, intellect, and passion for speaking the truth. Does it get any sexier? A filtered mind is the only crime for Zen Live. Stay tuned. I am a smoker and you need to quit, but you're the scariest guy that's out of this and like doing me.
White Plains Vapors, located at 210 Marinick Avenue in White Plains, New York. Visit our location and choose from a wide selection of exotic flavors. And we're back. So, this is my favorite segment that we, I think, are going to start going forward with this segment, the almighty Great Debate. Now, today's question on the Great Debate is, should a team be impacted by the market yes. it resides in, whether they are forced to win now or take the proper necessary steps to uh, win later? Case in point, right? Easy. I, I just, I think, I think, they are hurt more because of their market than they are. Yeah. They're give, give me an example. Somebody, uh, uh, New York Yankees. Nah. Yes. Give me the Knicks. No, Let's I wouldn't even go with the Knicks. Salary cap based. Exactly. It's salary. salary cap Every sport based. salary cap except baseball. Well, no, baseball's oh, not a salary cap. But here's the, the thing, and this is I was explaining this to Gypsy earlier. Base, baseball is a unique sport in the sense of this. is you have the super the, the superpowers per se. You know, in the Yankees, the Cardinals, the Dodgers, the Red Rangers. Sox. You know, you have these that spend money. There's a soft cap, per se, in baseball, okay? Now, when you get over that, you hit that luxury tax. Exactly. Now, that luxury tax is now divided amongst Kills you. every yeah. team in major leagues. Now, a team like the Tampa Bay Rays, okay, their owner now gets a fat check for $19 million. Yep. He has two options. He can A in his pocket, or B, put Spend it back it. into his team. There you go. There is a reason why like you have basement dwellers every year, because they have bad owners who are worried about their pockets. Well okay? Well said. You, well, baseball. But whatever. Whatever. It's, but, it's a but big sport. It's a big I, American sport. But the problem is, is that sport. I think, and some okay. of these, and if you look at the basement dwellers, okay, the Tampa Bay Rays, you know, yes, they the Marlins. Up, the Marlins, they're not in great markets. I There's the, not... They're not in fantastic markets, you know. But the Yankees, like, so I feel Minnesota. as a Yankee fan, I think it's terrible that every year there's pressure on Cashman to put a winning team yeah, out on the league, on the field. I, agree. I think. Listen, I think the best thing I heard so far this off season was the fact that they're talking about not signing Chase Headley and spending that yep. extra money and bringing up the kid Rob Ruff Snyder. Good. Bring, nice. bring Good. up a stud farm system guy. Bring yeah, him up. I like Yankee it. baseball. I like it. But you know what? It, but <laughs> Cashman was put in a tough spot because he had to pay previous guys for their championship breaks. And the worst thing that ever happened to the Yankees, we, we paid A-Rod. Because we thought A-Rod, we were going to break Barry Bonds' record with A-Rod. Like, and, and it was going to be pure, and we were going to win rings and everything. It was the biggest flop ever, and we're still hurting until that man leaves. You know, friend, markets matter, bad contract. But luxury tax, yeah. the Yankees paid to win. Look at Amari Stoudemire. They pay to win, but now my thing is is that no, that that extra money yet yeah, every team can do it. But the problem is is that the lower markets choose not to, whether it's that they don't have it or they're being greedy. They're being greedy. Those you know that, money money. Money. that money comes back. That money comes back to them. So just, you're telling me the owner yeah. of the Rays doesn't want to spend like yeah. Yo, Steinbrenner low, so. George Steinbrenner said it best. To make money, you must spend money. Mm -hmm. You put a good team on the field, right. butts will sit in the seats. Right. You put a terrible Jesus. field on the team, no one will sit in the seats. So that's baseball. But that's any sport. It's it's, no. So you're telling me, hold on, you're New Jersey Devils. We don't get if seats I, anyway. Hold on. You gave a big contract Say, to Yelena Kovachuk. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the oh, team. Forget about it. All right, let's talk about, we'll talk about the Rangers. Yes. The if the Rangers the had five the Devils. <laughs> college and, players. And A-Rod killed the Yankees, even with a ring. Had five college players. On the ice. They do. Okay? You know what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about season just veterans. Keep, just finish the question. Five college Fair players. Finish. No, five unknowns. Nobody knows any of these guys, and they had a struggling season. You think they, you think they would have a sellout every you night? You want to know why? I'll tell you why. 
because the Madison Square Garden is the most corporate facility in professional sports. That entire lower bowl is hand-me-down tickets yeah, while the real fans sit up there. Yeah. And I'll tell you something about real Ranger fans. I have the utmost respect yep. yes. for real Ranger fans. Yep, me too. I'm, I'm and I will Ranger openly fan. say yeah. that. Because those there. guys, I've been up there. I've seen in them the sweat. Rappers. I've seen them yell at me. And it's fine. I respect when a fan gets angry. I, they will still say <laughs> hockey is a different breed than baseball. It is. It is. It is. It's a different they, experience they, when you go to game two. You, we hung out with Patrick Ewing's jersey oh, yeah. in the garden. Yeah. We hung out. Right. We were up there. Yeah. But that but then the your question has Dude, to be directed to next. towards certain sports. Mm -hmm. You can you can't leave it as an okay. open ended question okay. because every sport is gonna be treated differently. Yeah. You, okay, look at the Mets. You just talking about the Yankees? <coughs> let's talk about the Mets. Two but, the Met, but the Mets are perennial losers. Oh Let, let's man. hold on. Let's call it how we I see can't it. Wait for baseball. Wait, wait, let's just listen, I I think you guys are gonna be better than us this year, and I'll be That's an open yeah. Yankee fan and I will now. say it, okay? I hope they are good. And I, I really do because it makes it fun. It does. But let it's, me, fun. it's the same it thing with the Giants and the Jets. The Jets, again, perennial losers. The Jets fans go into their season not expecting anything. Giants fans have won championships in their uh, lifetime, especially this right. generation. Especially yeah. uh, so they expect something. So that's why earlier when I said that the Giants are a bigger disappointment this season than the Jets are, it's for that simple fact. The Giants fans expect more out of their team because they have seen more. So, so, yeah. so, so I got a question for Dugan. I was Staying with the Jets, I got a question for you because that's exactly where I want to go, Foz. Dugan, if you were the Jets and go back in the day, would you would have gave Revis all that money instead of getting rid of him? I would have paid like him. Like for the fan base? Would you have paid him? Because they didn't pay him. I would have paid him. They didn't pay him. I I'm glad you him. asked that because that I, was my question to Dugan. Right? That just shows. I have no problem if my, my team pays one of the top players, players in, position. in the position to try. I, for Look, me, I want I don't want to watch my team be terrible. I want to win exactly. right now. I don't care about how much money I pay I or whatnot. See, see, I'd rather have my team be a – I'm looking for my team to be a dynasty. Mm. Like I want my the team Giants to be competitive. competitive. Exactly, like the Bill Giants. Would, you you, know, you want to be like the Niners? Huh? Like a Bill Bell Giants. Like the Patriots. Exactly. Team. Oh, right. They win the division every year. Exactly. I want like that. The Patriots I are the perfect that. example. We have a minute left of the show, and I do have to ask. Well, I'm going to say something to make my sort of twist on this all. Okay. I, I just I think that, and I'm talking like soccer. you got to think every sport. Yeah. There's t Like we're Manchester United. You, sometimes you do have to take the back seat. to. You Sometimes you have to break down a building to rebuild it. Look. Yeah. You know, God rest its soul, but the Twin Towers, you know, it went down, you know, unfortunately due to some really, I don't even want to make a reference to those, but it went down and then you have a stronger building, a, a building that represents something bigger. It is a dynasty now, the Freedom Tower. And sometimes you have to Simba. do that in pro sports. The Mets did it. The Mets did it. Next year, the Mets are going to be a team where you go and say, oh, I can't wait to see who's pitching tonight. Like, and, and Mets fans are going to look forward to we going are, to exactly, the game. Exactly, Fred. And that's why I want to go with the Revis thing. Because how many Jet fans go, Revis Island, of yeah, course. Yeah, something to go. It was the main guy. Yeah, Jets, the Jets were selling tickets for $14 on Monday. Screw the Jets. We don't, we don't like the pro team. What was that? Step back Yeah. Parity in sports is it's great. It is. It's what makes it so great. Bro. It you is, know. and guys, we love our sports because every day we get to see something new. There's always That's a news story, and there's That's always true. something to watch. Absolutely. Our true. teams may suck. Like a soap opera. It's a soap opera. I don't soap see opera. anything new. But <laughs> see the same old Giants. Tonight, and every I'm done, friend. <laughs> done. That was tonight's show of Python Sports Show. I thought it was an excellent show with you guys today. Yes. I had a great time. I'm happy, for, happy for the winner nice. of this Tampa yeah. Bay Lightning Steve jersey. We'll get it right to you. Stop. Real quick, I just want to mention next week we will have PBA champ nice. Anthony Pepe on oh, nice. live. Oh, nice. Oh, um, bowling. Yes, we're going to get a little bowling going on. It's getting weird. Yeah, so we're going to cover everything. We're going to hit the lanes. PBA Sports is going down the lanes. Yeah. Awesome. All right, thanks everybody. Have a great night. Take care, guys. Bye -bye.